In this problem, we have an indefinite integral. Let's try to work it out. So we have something inside a square root, and that's typically a good choice for a substitution. So if you were to let u be cotangent, um, then the derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared. So that seems to be a good route to take. So we'll start by letting u be equal to the cotangent of 3x. So then du is the derivative of u. The derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared of 3x, and then times the derivative of the inside function, so 3 dx. That's the chain rule, right? We always have to multiply by the derivative of the inside. Now the goal is to make this look like what's left over in our integrand. We don't have a negative 3 here, so we'll divide both sides by negative 3. When we do that, we're essentially multiplying by negative one-third. So this is really negative one-third du equals cosecant squared of 3x dx. Good stuff. So now we're ready to make our substitution. So let's be careful. So this here is the same as this here. That's negative one-third du, so we can pull out the negative one-third. We still have the integral sign. We have the square root, and then we have the u and the du. We can write the square root of u as u to a power. We can write it as u to the one-half du. This way we can use the power rule. And so now we'll integrate. Remember, when you integrate, you drop the integral sign and the du. So this is negative one-third. You, you add, you're adding one. So one-half plus one is three-halves. So we're dividing by three-halves. And then we still have our plus c. When you divide by three-halves, you really multiply by two-thirds. So it's really two-thirds times negative one-third. And then u was cotangent. So we have cotangent. 3x, and the whole thing is to the 3 halves power, and we have our plus c. And the last thing to do is maybe just multiply these numbers, right? So this will be equal to negative 2 ninths. And I'm going to put the 3 halves above the t. It's the shorthand notation for uh, raising trig functions to powers. So plus c. And that is the final answer. I hope this was helpful.